Well, on this Veterans Day, we are sharing the story of Jeffrey Elder. He is a decorated veteran born and raised right here in western New York, who at one time had the impressive duty of flying the President of the United States in Air Force One. Here's to on your sides, Leanne Stuck. I'd always stand at the front part of the aircraft on, on the couch and watch the president as he would walk up, walk up, turn around, wave to everybody. Jeffrey Elder watched history unfold from the cockpit of Air Force One. Flew Presidents Bush, Clinton, and Bush. Born and raised in Niagara Falls, Elder graduated from LaSalle Senior High School. He knew at a young age he wanted to be a pilot. And the pilot actually let me hold the, um, you know, uh, do a little flying just for a little while. And uh, I, I knew that I loved, you know, uh, the Air Force. Elder worked his way up, transferred from base to base around the world until he was assigned to a Maryland Air Force base, where he spent the next 20 years of his career. After flying Congressman Senators Generals, I moved up to Air Force Two and then Air Force One. You actually had to be hand selected to be a member of the Air Force One crew. And um, I was selected for that. It didn't take long for Elder to get called up to the president's airlift group. As he reflects on his career, one monumental moment in history jumps out to him, as it does for many. Elder had just brought President George W. Bush to Sarasota, Florida, and was waiting for him to return. He was watching the news on Air Force One and saw the second plane hit the tower. Uh, so we knew that our country was under attack at that moment. So we all went to our crew positions and not long after that, the president's motorcade came up and we needed to get that aircraft into the air. Elder said he flew at an altitude never flown before to keep the president safe. He was one of the only people to see the president directly after the attack on the World Trade Center. The president was coming up and I saw the determination in his face as he was walking on the aircraft, like we're going to get whoever did this to us. Elder went on to have many other memorable flights before he retired in 2006. So many that he's writing a book. The book is called From Niagara Falls to Air Force One and Back and it tells my whole story. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News. That is so impressive. Leanne uh, told me mm. he also flew Ronald Reagan's casket to oh. his funeral. How about that? Yeah, I mean, he has had one impressive career, this yeah, local gentleman. Very distinguished assignments. Yes. Yeah, historic. I, I can't wait to see the book and to yeah. read it. And so impressive. Somebody from our own backyard. I so love impressive. that story. Thank you, yeah, Leanne, for telling me. Absolutely.